Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Right, so I'm going to start to take a look at the song Can't Stand Losing You by the Stray Cats. You can find this on the Let's Go Faster demo album. There's also a live version, I think, on YouTube, so I'll put some links in the description. Brian Setzer also recorded a version called Waiting for Desiree, which is basically the same song. Um, it's not like the Stray Cats' recent Cry Danger, which uses you know, the riff from um, Brian's um, Aztec which is a completely different song, um, Waiting for Desiree and Can't Stand Losing You are basically the same thing. The only difference is um, how we'll start it. So, we're in the key of A. So I just um, hold down this kind of you know half bar A chord, open A string, and then second fret on the fourth, third and second strings. Um, so the main difference, like I say, is the straight cut version seems to start with this... Um, Sort of open low E, then we do a bend, like a half half step bend on the third fret of the low E. And then that takes us into the start of the, the main riff. So for that we play the open A and the second fret on the fourth string. And while I play that I kind of lift up my half bar because we want to give this um, the notes on the second fret of the fourth string a little bit of vibrato. We play that two times. Now from this point I start to um, play a little more palm muted, not, uh, not too much, um, but we just take a little more of that open sort of string sound away. So um, that's when we move now to the open A string and the fourth fret on the fourth string. And here's now where, because my, finger, um, my fingers are kind of in this position anyway, I, although I've lifted it a little just to, um, you know, allow myself to do the vibrato, I'm still kind of in the A position, so I just flatten my hand back, my finger back down. And now for the uh, second fret on the fourth and third strings. So we play that two times. And then our third finger on the fourth fret of the third string and then we play that with the second fret of the fourth string and then take our third finger off and then and then back to the just second fret on the fourth and third strings then we go into this kind of you know like d chord um because the bass is playing an A, it's got that kind of D over A sound. We're really, I guess, just playing the, um, the fourth, third and second strings. So um, I've got my third finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string. My first finger is still really in this A chord position, but really I'm, it's because I just want to fret the second fret of the third string and my second finger, the third fret of the second string. We play that two times. Then off, and then we're just playing the notes of the A chord that's on the fourth, third, and second strings on the second fret two times. Then, so second fret of the fourth string, fourth fret of the third string two times. And then the second fret of the fourth string and third string once. And that's where the riff starts again. So. Now at this point, the Brian Setzer version just now would repeat that riff without the... But the Stray Cat version, every, every time it go, the riff goes around two times, um, we, we kind of cut short what we were playing just to bring this... Um, 
So if I was playing this two times, I'm going to repeat that sort of low note figure. <laughs> So at that point I only play the second fret, the fourth string and the fourth fret of the third string once. Normally we play that two times, take our finger off and play the second fret of the fourth fret and third string once. Uh, but this time we'll play the second fret of the fourth string and uh, fourth fret of the third string only once, which allows us to play just the low note riff again. Open low E, then kind of a half step bend on the third fret of the low E. Takes us back into the the main riff. So let's try and play this a little slower. Um... So you could just repeat and repeat that. Um, obviously the different versions seem to have different lengths of how, how many times they'll go around that. So, but uh, when it's finally time to bring that to an end, and we're going to kind of finish with this little chord, chord phrase, we, um, we make short, we play just. So we do that kind of D over A chord uh, two times, like, uh, like as usual, but then the, when we take our finger off and just play the, the A, do that once. So uh, that would be... And that's where we fit in the, the final chords. So I play just like a fourth string F sharp minor, fourth fret on the fourth string, and then second fret on the uh, third, second and first strings. And I do a down and up stroke, so really kind of on the up stroke, I guess I'm only catching the first, second and third strings. Maybe the fourth will ring through, but I'm not really thinking, I'm just trying to catch... Um... Now after that, I, I'm going to, my, my kind of targets are the seventh fret on the fourth string and the sixth fret of the third string with the open A, which is a, an A chord. And also, we'll, we'll kind of finish this with the open second and first string, the open B and E. But before that, we'd kind of slide into those fretted notes, the seventh fret on the uh, fourth string, sixth fret on the third string. So as I do the slide, I guess it's from two, you know, because of where my hand is, I guess I'm coming from around the third or fourth fret. Not really thinking, but I'm, I'm kind of hitting the, open A and kind of moving in with that slide with my fingers in position. Now it all goes by so quick as, as, I, as you slide and you hit your target. You could do the up, you could do an upstroke to catch the, you want these ringing through so you could, um, you could do those open strings with an upstroke. I kind of vary, depends um, really. Or I might just follow through with a downstroke. So uh, the whole thing a lot slower. Right, so that's basically it. So give that a try, and um, I'm going to, like uh, all, all the things I say, you know, I'm going to look at the whole song for this. I just want to start to um, just take pieces from uh, a lot of the things that I love, and then we'll sort of flesh those out. So um, I'll make a lesson for the rest of this song. Um, it's one of my faves. So take care, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>